Good evening. Apologies for the state of me. Um, I didn't want to cancel another live. Um, so I'm on slightly earlier this evening because I'd been asked to show my swaps from my weekend away. Um, so that's what I'm here for. Um, so for the purpose of uploading this later um, to YouTube, my name's Colette Thornton and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK. Um, you'll find me under, what am I? So Facebook, if you've already found me here, you've found me already. So I'm Colette Thornton, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, and I've got a VIP stampers group called Let's Create. Um, and I'm on Instagram at let's underscore create. Um, so I do have a really quick card for you after these. Um, but I thought I'd been asked by um, a couple of people actually. Because I'd shown my huge haul of swaps. A couple of them, my kids have got two. Um, because they had sweeties in um, so hopefully we'll still be able to have a decent show for you. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to turn this round and show you my manic desk. Um, and then we'll get these done and then we can go from there. So she says, see if I can do it without dropping everything over the desk this week, shall we? Oh no, not quite nearly lost the phone. I'll show you what, you'll all wonder what's occurred the week that I finally do it without any aggro, won't you? Look at the state of this haul. I've just realised I've not found myself on here, so please give me two seconds while I work out what I've done. She says, so you'll realise I've got a bit of a froggy throat. I have spent the entire weekend giggling, um, well, belly laughing, I should say. Um, and as a result, I've had a really froggy throat <laughs> ever since. Um, but I'll get over it. It'll be fine. It was well worth it. So, this one, it had a really lovely bow tied up the top here. Um and this was from Paper Daisy Crafting, so Jill Chapman. Um, and in here was a very, very nice Cadbury's chocolate bar that my daughter decided to find for me um, and inhaled. Um, so I'm gutted because I don't think... So I think there was Skittles in here that my boy found. Um, I can't get back into it. Oh no, the paper is still in there. I was going to say, I think he got rid of the paper that was in it. So these are called... Oh, and I've pulled it right apart now with my chunky fingers. So it's a jubbly fold. There we go. Um, and it's just like the jubbly ice lollies. Who's that from? Annette Cambridge, so we all call her Nettie. Um, unfortunately, not all of them have made it back with their names in I don't even think mine didn't end up with names in at all because I found them in my suitcase so this had a lint ladybug in it but I ate that one actually I don't think that one even made it past the hotel room and that's Maria Cowan's um very lovely lady who's made a really cute little basket with the ladybug and the daisies on there um, so who's this one Nicole I never know Nicole's surname is it Fanette um, really cute little um, stamped image and then this has also been stamped and cut out and put on there which is really cute there's lots of the new in colours um, throughout these so this is last year's in colours with the hydrangea um from Tracy Abrahams. Let's go. Um, who are we? Susan Paul, so teacups. There was a lot of teacups. I included used teacups. Um so we did team swaps in our smaller team and then the pinky swaps. Oh, I've left the Ah, this is Lexi Pritchard. So um, you'll be able to find her at Lexi's Stamping Corner 
and we've just seen that stamp but cute little fancy fold there don't have a big enough box beside me this is a double z card a uh, double z fold card from nikki joyce this will be really cute let me show you look at that i don't know how well that comes out on there and i can't even stand it up to show you properly because i've got everything on the desk now i didn't want these guys but they appear on a few of the swaps and I'm beginning to think I may need them. So this is the lovely Liz Yule, Old Stable Crafts. Um, and I think, as well as the elephants, I think this is the jar of flowers behind. I could be wrong. Um, in fact, it will tell me, won't it? Oh, it doesn't say so. Elephant Charming Sentiment Bundle. I'm full of love stamp set. There we go. It's cute. And I, yeah, I think I may need the heffalumps. I'm talking of heffalumps. Here's another one. Um, I believe this was, so, yeah, Sue Temple. So, again, really cute. Um, and using the picture this dies and some foam pads to raise that up. Um, we've got... Hi, Joanne. Thanks for coming to find me. Just going through my haul of uh, swaps. So this is really cute. This, I believe this was Lucy. Let me double check for you. Oh, wow. Yes, so Lucy tossed him. Um, and in here there were also some sweeties that the children have found. And a really cute little sewing kit. So that will find its way into my handbag because they're always needed. Um, this was, if I remember rightly, this was Debbie Gilbert. Um, and I thought that was a really cute, so it's got a partial die cut in there. And that's really cute. Oh, this one doesn't say a name. I'm hoping there might be one inside. No, that's a shame. But this is really lovely. I haven't. If I'm honest, I've, I wouldn't have thought to use polished pink with this. Um, but I really like it. I think it's cute. Um, I believe this was Jane Pigeon House Crafts. In fact, I'm certain it was. Oh, look. Made by Jane. It gives it all away. Hi, Louise. No, you're not late at all. If anything, I'm a few minutes early. And I thought because we were going through... Um, my swap haul that I'd start a little bit early but I couldn't say when I was going to start because it was dependent on when the devils were going to bed um, but you'll be able to check back at the start if you're after having a look so this one this one doesn't say who it's from um, but you've got the hello friend and simply marvellous on there so we we went heavy on in colours um, and new stuff. Um, so this is from, I can't remember what this set's called. I got this for on tour. Um, and I never would have thought of using it like this. And I really like it. And we'd even got a little um, envelope, stamped envelope that came with it. Actually, I think this was Barbara Gibbons. And I think we'd got two in the same set lesser so this one and i've thrown a bit of twine in there because i needed to save it um as one of my kits but she'd used the clear embossing powder on the teacup to give it a ceramic look so i really like that um this is mrs marsh so my upline stacy marsh made these ones um and they were a labor of love she was cutting them out in the back of the car um so we had an event, a weekend event up in Birmingham and our trains were cancelled as part of the strikes. Um, and normally I'm told because it's the first Pinkies weekend I've been able to go to. They've not had one since 2019 due to COVID um, and I'm only just doing two years. But I was told that normally Stacey would finish her swaps on the train. Stacey was colouring hippos and fussy cutting them in the back of the car. Um, so that's hers. And of course, it's got the obligatory splatter 
on there that's hers. That's really cute. And she may actually have made me like the hippos. Um, this, I think, was Melinda. Melinda and Lotta. Um, so they're part of Michelle's Dutchy team. There we go. With a cute little stamp. And I believe this is the pocket, mini pocket dies or pocket envelope. Um, and the bow is part of that as well, I believe. So that's really cute. And what's there? So they are... A lot of stamping fun. That's the Facebook page for that. Ah, oh, so this was Helen, I believe. Yeah. So Helen box up, box up there. I always go to say her name wrong, bless her. So this is Nigeza Creates. So it's Jez Carpenter. Um, and I won't undo it because it's a little knot on there. But we've got another little sewing kit in there. I don't know if you can see that very well. But there's another cute little sewing kit in there. So everybody's gone to lots of time and effort in making everything for everybody. Oh, I can't get in the packet. My fingers, forgive me, aren't my friends currently. Um, I think there's been too much fussy cutting over the weekend. So this is a really gorgeous um, bookmark that I absolutely love. And it will be my friend... Who's this? Saffron Redman. Um, and it's really cute. Butterfly wing, Butterfly Brilliance or Butterfly Wings. Something along those lines. Um, so that's that one. This is Michelle Last. So this is our... Um, she's my uplines, uplines. So that's Stacey's upline. It's really cute. Um, what else have we got? This one. Is this Marguerite? Yes, Marguerite Moran. And I love this. And I think these had to have been a labour of love for her because they weren't the simplest of cards to be made. We're nearly there, guys, I promise. Unfortunately, this one doesn't say who's made it either. But it's lovely and there's lots of details. I've, I think, actually, this could be Jan. Um, but I'm not 100% certain, so I can't tell you. These were mine. Um, and I've had to promise Freya that she can have them back for her desk. Um, these, I think this was Sue's as well. So I think the card she'd made was for our team swaps. I don't have a copy of my team swap. Again, Freya's pinched these for her desk. So I've got to give those back. Um, this one. Oh, Tracy Boone. There you go. Can't miss that one. There we go. In Orchid Oasis, I think. Yeah. And I want to say... Oh, there is a thing on here. I'm sure this was Heidi Smith. Yes. And you'll find her at Flutter by Heidi. Um, and I didn't want this Scotty dog, but I really quite like him now. Um, one of our team won him in the raffle... Lisa Cornwall, so this is the set, so demonstrators could join Creativity Now. I can't get in there, my fingers aren't playing ball. Um, and this is the suite that was used for that. This is Bev. Yes. So there we go. Um, I think this is another Bev, actually. It is, because this was for the stars swap. So as much as it was the Pinkies Weekend, which is Stacey's Upline's team name, so all three levels of the Pinkies could join, um, which is how I got to attend. But Stacey's team, the stars, did our own swaps too. And Bev's made me want this one. Um, this was made by Sylvia Lawrence and again had sweeties in it, which is why it's now... Oh, and a note from Freya in there. Um, so she's got to have that back for her desk because she's kept that. And this had Malwams in it. Again, it's empty because the kiddos have nicked them. Um, Claudette Cambridge. There we go. Um, so that's it for the swaps that I brought home with me. I'm certain there was another one that had sweeties in 
but we ate it and I think it got destroyed in the opening. I haven't got all of the projects from the weekend, but we did have some tables that were doing um, techniques. So this was a double partial die cutting. Um, so, and I haven't glue dotted my ribbon down, but so you'll see there's a partial circle and a partial of the, I called them weeds and got told off, um, but the flowers. And so that makes that style card. This is amazing. I love it. Sorry, my throat's going again already. Look at that. And it's got brilliant wings in there. And then, so it's the slider card and that just slides back in there. So I think we're going to have to play with, I've got some ideas for that that go with the new Santa sleigh. Um, this was a bleached effect. So we actually used my favourite cleaning equipment. We used bleach. Um, and much to everybody's dismay, I screwed up card and ripped it, which normally makes me rock. And this little beast, well, I used a salad spinner to make this card. Um, and I absolutely loved it. So it's a technique that's going to have to come some of my classes and I think that the kids would probably like it too so that's it for that oh sorry I'm just dancing with where everything is I've put it all at my feet and I can't now reach anything I don't have anything to show you um I haven't got a blue Peter job today um but I've seen lots of the mini I can never say it is it Mura Mura cards? Mura cards? Something along those lines. So it's where you have these folds here, like this. So I've grabbed my template because this is what I made my team swaps into. Um, and I used the teacup paper. I've run out of teacup DSP, with the exception of about two sheets, um, which isn't going to be sufficient to make a card. But what I thought was that you could help me make a start on some teacher thank you cards because it's coming up to that time of year. So I thought I could make one with you guys just so that you could see how it works and actually how easy they are. Um, because I thought that they were going to be really, really tricky and they were a lot, lot easier than I thought. And this is a mini one, so it's made out of a sheet of A4 card and there was envelopes with some of those but it fits in a standard C6 envelope I can't reach them I've moved them out of my way apologies much so without further ado should we do some crafting um hubby's instructed me to stay up here for as long as I want so that he can binge watch stranger things so piece of A4 cardstock um, and the first thing that you want to do is to put it in portrait I don't know why I've opened it up already um, because it is the, the length of the card so it's 29.7 I'm sure that's right I'm just going to double check myself yes 29.7 by 14.8 Forgive me, I've left my glasses at work. So this is going to be a little bit more taxing than usual. If we make it out in one piece and we've got a card at the end of it, I will be very impressed. So we need to score. So you've got your long edge at the top of your trimmer now. So the bit that measures 29.7 centimetres. We're going to score it at 9.9 9, and then we're going to score again at 19.8. There we go. So this will make the basis of your card. We'll burnish everything in a minute. But that makes the basic part of that. Do I want it that way? I don't think I, don't think I want it that way. Oh, I can't remember. We will soon find out. So then what we need to do is work out five centimetres down. So the way I do it, you can use a ruler and I've bought one up in case anybody wants to do that way. 
is I fold the front bit over and I put my card in there and I'll make a notch at the five centimetres. That I will then line up with my trimmer. Am I still on the screen? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's gone up slightly. So I've now got my mark in here and the corner is here. Now I'm going to score through both layers of that because I just find it easier. Okay, so that's going to make that V there. So then what we need to do is the same down here. But again, we need it at five centimetres. I find it easier to fold it over so that I don't have to keep playing with that on there. that's i've just done it on the wrong end haven't i no i haven't cut myself some slack there we go and we'll have that there and that down there there we go so now oh sorry guys so now we've got this one here and we've got this one here this away for a second so that we can burnish those score lines it's that way that we want to go clear. I'm sure it is no it's not I was right the first time I think we're going to go that way right let's rub off and see my pencil line there we go got another one there that's the mechanics already done and it's just really making sure so we push this one in here and this one will go in too and then what I do is I'll burnish it like that but I'll also lift it up here how did I do it last time? I think I pushed them the opposite way so that I could burnish the lines as well. It's only been about a week since I've made them. You'd think it was a very long time, wouldn't you? There we go. So that when you open that, that will pop up. Okay. And then this one here, you want them coming in. So you're going to want this one down here. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it all on the screen and I don't think I'm doing a great job at that. There we go. And then because they're both folded, oh, they're both folded, she says. So, some more of that there. so we're going to go that way, like that. Now, what you can do is some people don't like the fact that you have to fold that down to stand it up. You can put a panel on the back. Um, so we may well do that in a minute. Okay, so now what we need to do is to get some DSP on here. Um, what have I got up here? I've got Hues of Happiness up here. So I think that might be what we're going to be using. I love this. So that may well make an appearance. Um... I'm quite glad I left this up here now because otherwise I wouldn't have had anything to be crafting with because like the silly sausage I am, I didn't bring anything up. Um, and what's on the reverse of these? Flowers and more flowers. So it might be that they're the ones we use. Um, but we're also going to have some extra bits to cover. So I'm just looking to see if I've got any other DSP patterns that I could use. I could use that as well. It's going to be floral overload. It'll be marvellous. Um, so we've got our base. So we need three panel, two panels, and then these two pieces here. So the panels need to be... 14 point, oh sorry, 14.3, I'm throwing card everywhere, I'm not doing too well this evening, 
14.3 by 9.4. So let's get the 9.4 in there. So that just takes off half a centimetre um, from the other, the original measurement, 14.3. And then we've got another one. Sorry, I'm being frugal with my DSP, which I always failed, I never would be. There we go. By 14.3. Okay. So then what we need to do is we need to chop off the triangles. So we need to mark 4.8 from the top. Now, I don't know so much if you're going to be able to see on here. I um, don't know if you can see, but I've drawn my mark on here. So what I'll do is I'll put that in my trimmer. Do I want to put it in my trimmer that way? No, I don't. I'm very glad I checked that. So because that would chop it that way. Yeah, silly colour. Where's the ruler? So what we need is 4.8 on this side. It was a close call. There we go. So we've got it on that side now and I can put that in there and line that up. Oh, nearly. There we go. And that will fit quite nicely on there. Do you know what? We were the right way around because it was going to be going on this side. Wally. But we'll turn it around. It's absolutely fine. Um, and then if you want to use this same piece, you need to chop off half a centimetre from this long edge. Okay, otherwise it won't fit very nicely in the gap. Okay, so then this will then go donut because I want different paper down there. That wouldn't fit anyway because it's going the wrong way. Um, it would be able to go there though. So I might save it because I can't. Oh, I was going to use the other flowers. Anywho, this is why planning stuff works. So, we need 4.8. It's 5 on the original. It's 4.8 this time around. So, if I chop it that side, yeah, that will fit there. This took me so long to get my head around the first time round. But once you're in the groove with it, I promise it's an awful lot easier. So this will go here. We've got this one for here. I'm just going to take the half a centimetre off of here. Please don't look at the state of my trimmer. It needs a lot of cleaning after this weekend's events um so we could actually put that down there and then have that one up there so it just mixes it up a bit and i think i'll do that rather than wasting it um and then we'll put the other pattern in the middle because i don't like the idea of wasting paper um so i need another panel for the middle that is again 14.3. That is not cut straight, is it? I don't know quite what I've done with that. Um, I had fun with it at some point. So 14.3 by 9.4. And this is where it's going to get confuddling because we now need to take off this corner. Yeah, that way and then that way. 
so we need to come in 4.8 on both sides so we'll have a 4.8 there and we'll have a 4.8 there oh i thought i'd just flung my pencil down the side of the desk but luckily i hadn't hi danny thank you for coming to find me so we've got one there brain cell collect come on distracted myself like a silly sausage we have that one there unfortunately this doesn't get used for anything i'm wondering if i can put that in there and then I was going to make a smaller bit to go in there, but no, I'm not going to because I want to be able to write in it. So we've got all of that. You know what I haven't got up here because I've been away crafting. I haven't got any glue like a silly sausage. That's not going to work now, is it? Right. Just doubly check we haven't got any glue. For the sake of this, I will be using tear tape so that I don't have to run downstairs like a complete and utter loon. Um, a because it risks waking children, but I'm also not that energetic this evening, if I'm honest. Um, and I'll end up coughing up along, so we can't be having that. So let's use tear tape and work out the marvels that are tear tape. There we go. This is what happens when you steal the kit that's normally in here to go in your bag for the weekend. Because I didn't want to touch my desk downstairs. Never mind. Oh well. We'll get there. So, by all means, you can use your Tombow for this, if you've decided to bring it with you. This will have exactly the same effect and do exactly the same thing. It's just not as economical. There we go. Um, and what I thought could be nice on here um, but I've lent them out would be the Amazing Thanks dies. Um, because as much as it says thanks, I also snip it about so that it can say thank you because you can use the you from You Are Amazing. Um, and then you can say thank you instead of just thanks. Um and it takes up a bit more of the front. So I think that's what I intend to do with some more of them. So we've got two teachers. I think it's a job share in the twins class and a TA. Um, but they won't share a card. So I need to make six teacher thank you cards, which I don't mind because their teachers are amazing and have been incredibly tolerant um of my children and the little sass bags that they are um and i know they're in safe hands when they're with them so that's always makes things a lot easier i think we need a new trim blade as well after the weekend Had far too much fun um so you are more than able to join the next one um, you just need to join my team of let's creators um, and be an active demo for when booking opens which I think, I think we booked about February time um, but you have to remain active to be able to go in the September um, and we do day ones as well at Crowton um, my upline does a lot and I've got bits and bobs going on too. So it really is more than just ink, stamps and paper. There's a whole clan. Um, 
and it's a friendship group that I'm very glad that I found and I'm very fortunate to be a part of. I've not taken the half centimetre off of these, so we'll just pull the trim back. Look, the little silly sausage that I am, at least I found out now than before trying to stick it with tear tape. Dope. Oh. Fancy forgetting your glue, eh? Little wally. So, I've also got emails are going out tonight about my Christmas creative day, so I'm excited about that one um, and the, getting the bookings in so that I can get organised and ordered um, I'm a bit worried I don't want to miss out on things um, with shipping delays or whether there's going to be any shortages and things so I'd quite like to get that booked up so if you're on my mailing list keep an eye out for that um, and if you're not and you'd like to be please drop me a message your email address in and we'll get that sorted for you our new catalogue goes live 11 p.m tomorrow yep so it's 11 p.m here because it's actually midnight um when it becomes the first of july but because it's european market and there's the hour time delay we get sorted that way Hi Sue, thanks for coming to find me. I am making more of my swaps as teacher cards. Um, there's a lovely joining offer that's going to be as of the 1st of July with a very pretty um, planner on top of your usual £130 worth of product for £30. Um, yeah, that's going to be a planner a stamp set and notebooks worth £42, also free. Um, so we need our piece in here to write on. So, oh, I thought that had fallen down the back then. So I'm going to go back to the 9.4. You're going to be saying these measurements in your sleep by the time I'm done. 9.4, 14.3. I had to think about it then. There's me saying what's doing in our sleep. Um, and then we need to chop the pieces off again. So I'm going to need to go back to 4.8 and mark that up. And then 4.8 this side and mark that up. And then line them up for chopping. There you come. Really need to cut my nails. They're becoming a bit hazardous now. I can't do much with them anymore. Right, so we need to rub off the lines on here that I've made. This pencil was a freebie at a work conference at a hotel i don't think it tells you oh there we go mccure and i love it i've refilled it a couple of times already love it so oh i haven't got any stamps up here have i let's see what we've got oh, we've literally got a day left to use this one i know we can still use this one thank you i bet that's still i've seen a block on here yeah, this is me being very naughty and not having tidied up. And it was a while ago I'd recorded my class. Um, so we're going to have thank you on the inside. But I also want a thank you or something of that on the front. Because believe me... They deserve thanking. They've tolerated 30 odd kids for an entire year. Um, and part of me wants to buy them a bottle of gin. 
Sorry I'm late, just getting excited about Murray winning a set. Oh, Sue, if you'd have been in the car with us, I I can't tolerate tennis. It just reminds me of my granddad um, telling me to shush so that he could hear the ball being bounced back and forth. Um, and I think I've never really fully understood tennis or the joy in it. But my mother-in-law adores tennis and hubby had it on before I came up. So I, and I did make the comment of, ugh, tennis at that point. But it's lovely to know that we are doing well in tennis. We've done fairly all right for sport, full stop actually, recently. So, oh, we've got that in and I'm gonna try and find some flowers or something to fussy cut. Forgive me for the tear tape. It's not what I'd normally use. So there you go. We've got that there. And we just need to decorate. So let's find something to... My trusty stamp is up here from my class as well. Uh, punch, sorry. So we may well be using that. I wonder if in here, because I used this for the class... Oh, I tell you what, though, I might stamp that come off and punch one of those out. But I don't want the completely different colours. Uh, may well go blueies, but then that's no different from using pool party card stock. Love this style. Of I only ever watch Wimbledon. Oh, bless you. You can be forgiven for that then. Um, my mother-in-law absolutely adores tennis full stop. Um, and we'll watch it morning, noon and night. If my father-in-law let her get away with it. I love this style of car. Oh, thank you. I'd honestly never tried it until making the swaps because it always looked really complicated and I worried that I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, yet in practice, it's really, really easy. Right, so let's learn our lesson from last time and stamp kit before you do anything else. Ah, oh, there we go. How cute is that for a teacher? First of all, you're amazing. And they most certainly are. Is it that one? Yeah. So I'm going to have to find something to put on with it. But they most certainly are amazing. Um, didn't even bring a block up like a plum. That'll do. We can get away with that. Um, and then we can prettify around it. So what I do is I punch two of these, this one in a different colour, and I cut it in half. And then I layer it behind here just to make it something different. Um, it's not going to be as easy as normal because I'm the Wally that left the glue downstairs. But we do know that I can go right up to that bit there. And then we'll pop another one on the top there. Other than a Christmas wreath, I made one Christmas. I don't think I've ever used so much tear tape in one sitting. Um, and then just line these up. Again, Tombow's a little bit more forgiving. It'll allow you the wiggle room. Um, we'll have that one. And there, oh, sticking to my fingers. There we go. I'm devastated that the kids lose their TA at the end of the term because I'd love her to stay with them. And I'm sure they would too to the end of year six because they absolutely adore her. Um, there we go. So we'll have that. I saw in the packet that there was some 
already some leftover flowers from my class. Oh, there's some pads. We're going to need those. We may well be able to do something with the ribbon, but I don't have glue dots. Or, that's a smaller piece. Let's use that. Glue dots or anything up here. So we're going to have to get creative with the... Did you use all your glue at the weekend? No, Sue. So normally I have glue for upstairs and I have glue for downstairs. But the glue for upstairs I took to the Pinkies weekend. So because I took it to the Pinkies weekend, it's downstairs in a bag. Um, and I just haven't unpacked it to bring it back up here. And I didn't realise until I was most of the way through making this. Um, like the plum that I am. Um, no, luckily, because I'm have, i not ordering until tomorrow night either. Um, so luckily, I didn't have to worry too much about glue. Don't want to completely detract from... This is going to wind me up. Can you still see if I pop that there? Yeah. It just keeps bopping about, which is lovely. But I needed to stay put for the minute. Right, so I'm going to put a tiny piece of tear tape at the bottom of this. This is going to get challenging, I think, with just tear tape and dimensionals. But we will do it because I don't quit. There we go. That one we can prop up on a partial dimensional. I haven't unpacked. I've unpacked my clothes and they're all washed because that's always a bugbear of mine. Um, but I haven't done any crafting since we've been back. So this is the first bit of crafting I've done since being back, which is why I didn't realise I was missing them. Um, but we'll get there. We'll survive. I might even put them on some minis. So I've got mini dimensionals here. I don't have much up here, but I do have minis. Um, I think you beat, I think you and Debbie beat us home though. Um, so we ended up, we got rooted down a different route on the way back Sunday night. Um, and then it got to the point that we'd forgotten to get fuel in Birmingham. So we had to stop for fuel. And when we stopped, we just decided to eat at that point. <laughs> I think it'd become the, yeah, no, now we need to eat. Um, oh, come on, come on. Now I've left the tear tape on my finger. Oh, we're doing well, aren't we? But the belly laughing of the weekend has left me with a froggy throat, which I think means that we've had an amazing weekend. Well, I don't think I know we did. There we go. First of all, you're amazing. Um, and I kind of feel like I need to put some in. If you're talking to Liz York at the weekend, you might be better to wait until the first. Is that for ordering? I think Debbie just wanted to make it home. Bless her, we had fun. We certainly did. Yeah, Debbie and her poorly leg lover heart. Hopefully that's sorted very soon for her. Oh, why did I put this on my finger like a wally? Yeah, so I'll be ordering tomorrow night at 11. Um, so theoretically the first... For sales a because it's the new quarter um but i also want to be able to order more of more than one of some things um because i want to get prepping for my christmas craft um, and we all know i love a bit of christmas i'm surprised that i didn't do a pre-order if i'm honest um but i just couldn't bring myself to get into Christmas gear I think it was more a case of so much was going on we've all been so busy we just needed to concentrate on one thing at a time um, so 
we have got is so we've always got partials down the side of a piece just wondering whether one needs to go in there to break it up a little bit so I am going to whether it will look all right or not we'll soon find out um, but I don't like the fact that it's potentially naked um, Talking of, not talking of naked, um, ordering. I've, I'd forgotten that I'd put it in my basket. So in the car journey on the way home, I was looking at what was in my basket, taking the gnomes out because I'd got them in the raffle. Um, but I'd forgotten all about the, I, can't, I now can't remember what it's called, Flourish and something. Nurture and Flourish? The um, charity one. Yes, order after the first, and if it's a big order, you earn rewards, I think. No, 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 you're, yeah, you're definitely right. Um, and there's host papers that we can have after the first. Um, and they're what I was holding out for. I wanted those um, because, again, I think they're too cute not to have. And I get a bit of FOMO. I don't like missing out. So it's... All in my basket, ready to go, unless I get any more orders between now and then. Um, with my, have my winner from my kit this month. So I've started putting the scratch cards in my kits. Um, and we did have a winner this time around. So I don't know when they get delivered to me. I don't know which ones are winners and which ones aren't. Um, I just asked that. Um, I think it's... I've got 100 scratch cards and half of them, so 50 scratch cards, are winners. So I only had one winner this time. So no, my luck, I'll probably get that five next time. Um, so their prize is also in my basket to order. Um, didn't bring my take a pick up. Again, no surprise. It's in my, oh, I don't even know if I did take it away, actually. Because I think I had to borrow bevs at one point. So I've got some basic rhinestones up here left over from my card car, my work. Uh, come on, Colette. My kit in the post that I did this month. Um, and I hadn't cleared my desk away. So we've also got celebration throughout July and August. Um, and there are some adorable things in there. So the hippos from Stacey's card that I showed you earlier are in there. And they're actually now on my order. They weren't beforehand. I was adamant I wasn't getting them. Will that just be overkill? Quite possibly. Let's give it a go and see, shall we? I love how easy this in colour ribbon is to tie. So I think I might have to just sit it on the top because I don't have glue dots up here. And then when I go downstairs, oh, I'll put it on there. She says, and then I'll post it to Instagram because I don't think I've uploaded anything to Instagram today like a naughty girl. So there we go. That's our mini. I can never say it. It called Claire. The mini mo oh, mirror card, I think, something along those lines. Um, so that's one of six teacher cards all ready to go. Um, for everybody that's come to find me this evening, thank you for giving up a little bit of your evening and coming to find me. Um, and I will be back. Thanks, Sue. That's very kind of you. I'll be back again this time next week. Um, I'm hoping to get back into the swing of crafting again and giving me some purpose to get that done. Life got a little bit hectic for a little while. Um, so don't forget, we've got the new catalogue that's going live on the 1st of July. Um, and it's Christmas. Do love a bit of Mistmas. 
um, and my order is ready to go. If you'd like a catalogue and you haven't yet got one um, and you don't have a demonstrator, please send me a message with your address and I'll get one in the post to you. Um, I didn't do a June kit in the post purely because life was so busy and I didn't want to put more spends on people when I know that my usual ladies um, had been trying to conserve some cash. So I've got one sorted. That'll be coming out next week, um, ready to order for July. Um, and as it's my birthday month, there'll be a little extra gift in there for me. Um, so thank you very much. You can find my host code over on my Facebook page um, and my Let's Create stamping group. Thanks very much. Bye.